subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is classification of fruits chapter morphology of flowering plants classification of fruits now fruits are the characteristics of angiosperms seeds are present both in angiosperms and gymnosperms where gymnosperms have naked seeds while angiosperms have covered seeds in angiosperms the seeds are present inside the fruit or you can say the seeds are covered by the fruit it is the fruit that bears the seeds so fruits are the characteristics of angiosperms now fruit is a ripened or a mature ovary after fertilization the ovule forms the seed while the ovary forms the fruit so fruit are formed after fertilization the fruits that develop without fertilization are known as parthenocarpic fruits parthenocarpic fruits are fruits that develop without fertilization these fruits are seedless example banana grapes now fruits can be divided into two types true fruits and false fruits true fruits are also referred as eucarps while false fruits are referred as pseudocarps when the ovary forms the fruit that is referred as the true fruit like mango when parts other than ovary forms the fruit then that is referred as false fruit like for example apple in apple the thalamus forms the fruit ya yeah, in pineapple the complete inflorescence forms the fruit so such types of fruits are the false fruits now the wall of the ovary forms the wall of the fruit which is referred as the pericarp now the pericarp in the fruits is either thin and membranous as we can see in one seeded fruits like the cereals or the pericarp is thick and can be divided into three parts outer thinner epicarp middle thicker mesocarp and the inner endocarp now these three parts are clearly visible in mango and coconut now this is the outer green part is the epicarp 
which is thin then the thick pulpy fleshy part of mango is the mesocarp and the inner hard and stony endocarp inside which lies the seed while in case of coconut the outer green layer is the epicarp the middle thick mesocarp in case of coconut is fibrous and then the hard and stony endocarp which encloses the endosperm in coconut classification of fruits now fruits can be divided into three types classified into three types simple fruit aggregate fruit and composite fruit now a simple fruit is formed from monocarpellary means an ovary having a single carpel or polycarpellary syncarpous ovary means a simple fruit is formed from a single ovary or polycarpellary means there are many ovaries but they are fused that is syncarpous such type of fruits are known as simple fruits and they develop from a single flower aggregate fruits they develop from a polycarpellary means many carpels are present apocarpus ovary means the carpels are free aggregate fruit develops from a polycarpellary means there are many carpels and the carpels are free they too develop from a single flower while in case of a composite fruit the complete inflorescence develops into the fruit which means many flowers take part in the formation of the fruit now the simple fruits that which develop from a monocarpellary or polycarpellary syncarpous ovary can be further divided into two types simple dry and simple fleshy now in simple dry the pericarp that is the wall of the fruit is thin and membranous while in case of simple fleshy the pericarp is thick and fleshy and can be divided into epicarp mesocarp and endocarp now the simple dry fruits can be further divided into three types simple cap dehiscent also known as the capsula means these fruits burst open upon maturity releasing the seeds then si simple dry cyzocarpic means these fruits break up into one seeded parts upon maturity and last is simple indehiscent or akinal fruits 
these fruits do not open up on maturity now in the next video we'll be studying the different types of simple fruits along with the examples that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching